hey everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another speed build. Today I am building a tiny house and this one is actually for a townie in The Sims 4. This is a tiny house for Don Lothario, which I'm sure you're all familiar with, but I'll be talking a little bit about him and some of his traits and his past and all of the sorts of fun information about Don Lothario throughout the course of this video. But basically, I just thought it would be a really fun idea to reimagine what some of the townies in The Sims 4, how they would decorate a tiny home if they had one. And I feel like for Don, it makes sense. Maybe he gets kicked out by the Calientes and he goes off on his own. So this is like the ultimate like bachelor pad tiny house. And I love how this came out. So if you're not familiar with uh, Don Lothario, he has been in The Sims since The Sims 2. And he's known to be a bit of a flirt, a bit of a romantic, maybe he likes to date around, have multiple relationships at the same time. And in The Sims 4, he lives in a household with Dina, Nina, and Katrina Caliente. And uh, it is hinted that he is currently with Katrina, but probably going to get with all three of them. And uh, <laughs> his... Traits are that he is active, non-committal, romantic, and alluring, and he is also a serial romantic. Uh, so that's a little bit about him. He is always walking around in either his red shirt or in his underwear. In my game, he just like walks around in his underwear all the time. I don't know why, but I mean, I guess I do know why. It's Don Lothario. Uh, but I thought it'd be really fun to create a tiny home for him. I actually created this over on Twitch a couple of days ago now and it was so much fun to do this with y'all live and kind of come up with ideas together and the first thing that I knew I wanted is that I knew I wanted this house to be red and that I wanted to include a hot tub and we actually kind of built it into the house you can see over there it is fully functional I have play tested this house and uh, I believe this house includes a total of four woohoo locations so you have the hot tub we have a woohoo bush they have, we have the bed and then we have the shower. So we got options here and I'm sure you could add more if you wanted to. I also have like champagne buckets and all sorts of like fun things that nod to uh, the activities Don might be up to and the company he has. And uh, there, it's put together, but there's some things that are out and about and like it's a little bit messy on the inside, but I do think it's a really nice home and I had a blast with this. So if you do like it and you would like to download it, it will be available on the Sims 4 gallery. You can find it under my EA ID, which is Griffey, G-R-Y-P-H-I. You can also find it under the hashtag Miss Griffey, and that information will also be in the description down below as well. But for right now, I am working on the landscaping. I really wasn't sure how I wanted to landscape this lot because it is an Oasis Springs. I decided to build here because that is originally where he lives in the game. And so I thought it made sense to keep him in this world and just create a small space for him uh, after he potentially gets kicked out from his uh, his little room he has at the Calientes. Uh, it looks like he didn't even move in that long ago in that house because it's not really fully decorated and it's a little bit odd. <laughs> so uh, him having his own space here is definitely an upgrade. And uh it ends up having a pretty good size bedroom, bathroom, and kitchen space. Uh, I know a lot of times in tiny homes, I make them very tiny, but this one's a true tiny home, not a micro home. It's like the middle tier of uh, homes you can have with tiny living. Oh, I loved adding this little rose outside and the candle. We have lots of candles and roses inside. There's the VIP uh, champagne bucket, and then we have the functioning one from the my wedding stories game pack I'll be putting inside and there's a woohoo bush I decided to pick out the one that had like the little hearts on it I thought that that was cute and tied in with the red colors I have all over the outside of this belt and uh just continuing on the landscaping I spent a really long time outside trying to make it look okay I was just very unsure with how I wanted this home to look to start with other than I wanted it to be red and have a hot tub but it really came together in the end uh, here I am figuring out the tiling on the outside. This is one from Jungle Adventure, and I think it worked perfectly for this home. I ended up bringing that inside as well and using it in the kitchen and in the bathroom. And then I'm just messing around with all of the different like cacti and succulents here uh, to try to make it look like everything is in its place and it was like meant to be that way. I had a lot of trouble with the landscaping and a little bit with some of the windows as well, but 
it does come together in the end. And uh, yeah, just adding some more greenery here. I hope we're going inside. Yes, we are inside now and uh, I'm going to start working on the floor plan. I do extend the room that's back here quite a bit. This is going to be where the bedroom is. I thought that that made the most sense. And then I end up adding a bathroom back there as well. So there's like a little hall that leads into both. And um, I also put windows inside looking out to the hot tub. Uh, you can keep an eye on whoever's in the hot tub from either the kitchen or the bedroom. I just thought it looked nice there. And I like to have uh, windows above like the sink in a in a kitchen. So I thought that that worked the best. And so this is where the... Uh, bathroom is going to be. I ended up actually just extending the other roof piece out and there's a little bit of an indent over here for the hallway. I didn't feel like it was necessary to have the hallway be as long as the rest of the bathroom because it was just kind of unused space. So I kept it like that and just put a window there, but you can extend that out to the end and maybe put like stacked washer and dryers there if you want to pay with, uh, not pay, but if you want to play with laundry, I don't imagine Don Lothario really enjoys laundry though so I didn't include that in this house uh, but this is going to be the kitchen we actually have a really good size kitchen here and uh, I kept it pretty simply decorated but I knew immediately which couch I wanted to use this one from high school years in this red swatch I thought it was the perfect shade red and just a little bit messy like it's thrown together but it looks so 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 cozy so I really enjoyed that and I needed to use the zebra print rug from seasons it just felt like it matched perfectly and then the next piece of furniture I'm going to be adding, I'm pretty sure is, well, after the kitchen is um a lamp I don't think I've ever used before. And uh, I mentioned I was building this on Twitch and my chat insisted on a certain lamp for this living room. And I immediately said no, but then I pulled it out because they told me that it had a red swatch. Uh, so you'll see me grabbing that here shortly. If you didn't know, uh, in the base game, it's an unlock from the mixologist career. There is a martini glass lamp a floor lamp that looks like a martini glass and it's it's something all right. Uh, I've never used it before, but for some reason, I, it just fit in this house. I feel like Don Lothario would love this lamp and I, I'm talking about it quite a bit and it hasn't been placed yet, but I think we're about to grab it right now. Look at it. Is that not perfect for this room, for this house, for this sim? I really like it in this space and I've never used it before because I think it's just kind of tacky, but uh, I really liked it here. So I end up putting that and there ends up being like posters and all sorts of like fun personal items all over this space. I also end up getting like, I don't know how to explain what it is. I guess it's like a drawing or a decal on the wall above the couch. I'll be adding that a little bit later. I also have this table from high school years that I thought would be really nice to put the TV on. And then I put a bunch of clutter up there as well. And this framed wine glass, I was like, I know the perfect item for this space. We need this <laughs> this wine glass painting. That is from Dine Out. I just thought it was perfect. And of course, we got a keg in here as well. Uh, just wanted to make sure <laughs> we had a lot of activities in here and little nods to like partying and all of that sort of thing. So got a poster over here from, I think that one's from Discover University. And my chat thought it was hilarious that I put a roll of toilet paper on the uh on the table in here but I just think it's realistic maybe you don't always have tissues you just grab toilet paper and you just leave it around your house I wanted to keep a couple of things that were just like thrown about so I do have that there I also have this hat which is from the clutter kit and I also get the basket of weights and stuff from the clutter kit as well uh, because that felt very dawn and oh of course these shoes too he got some new sneakers uh, so just throwing those over there by the door and uh, I had so much fun picking out all of the different things. We have like the phone and keys, the used mugs. I ended up actually putting some of the sticky notes on the counter and then I hung up some on the fridge thinking that's where he jots down girls numbers and then hangs them on the fridge. I think that's just kind of a fun idea. So that is what I did there. But you can see me just rearranging some of the stuff on the TV cabinet and then adding some blinds in the kitchen and, you know, just moving everything around, placing it to look a little bit more realistic and messy. I think having some like dishes that need to be done makes sense. I also grabbed a microwave in here and then I should be grabbing the like protein powders from the fitness stuff pack or not fitness stuff pack uh, from spa day and I use tool to kind of shove it into the wall a little bit so you don't see that red base. It just looks like clear shelves hanging up with all kinds of powders on them. I thought that that would make sense for Don to have. Uh, he's really into being like athletic and I think he'd be pretty into like all of that. I also put some shoes here that maybe a sim left behind and I try to think what else. 
Here are those sticky notes I mentioned though. So I'm just grabbing some of these and placing them on the fridge. These are from Parenthood. They're normally for the like the Parenthood board where you can set curfews and stuff. Uh, but I thought it would be a cute idea here. And those were the sticky notes that I put on the side. And then this is that little decal I put above the uh, the couch here. I think it looks really nice. And then in the window, I just wanted to add a little bit of clutter. So I got to plant a basketball and some game controllers and stuff. Just trying to make the space feel like lived in and a little bit messy, but not dirty. <laughs> I just wanted it to be uh, not perfectly in order. But then this is going to be the bathroom. I just wanted to have a shower with a curtain on it. And I wanted to make sure to have extra counter space in here. So I laid it out this way. So we have that corner cabinet as well. Uh, I wanted to make sure to have a variety of clutter out here, all the toothpaste and toothbrushes and combs. Uh, there's even like a makeup palette that I think maybe a sim left here. I thought that that was a cute idea. And he also has his razor. He wants to make sure he's looking tip top at all times. I wanted to make sure he had everything he needed. I really like the items from the bathroom clutter kit. There's some like quality issues with some of them, but I'm so happy to have like more clutter like this to add into our bathrooms. Uh, I also made sure in here to add a single rose. I will be grabbing that here shortly. Oh, and I, I let the towels be a little bit messy as well. That felt like it would be, <laughs> Don just got out of the shower and his towel is just all messy on the, on the towel rod. So there is that rose. I thought that that looks really pretty in here and has that little hint of like romance, even though it's the bathroom. I mean, this is a woohoo location, so uh, there is the shower there, and I also added a bathrobe on the back of the door, and then we should be moving on into the bedroom, which I tried a couple of different beds, uh, but I actually ended up going with one from City Living in the end. I just think the colors work the best, uh, and it just felt the most dawn out of all of them, but you can see I'm trying this one first, and you know, I keep going back to it. So this one is the one I ended up using in the end with a couple of these bedside tables from Snowy Escape. I also loved this painting above the bed, but I did move it over to the side. I just knew it had to be in this room and I put a mirror above the bed instead and the bed got moved around ever so slightly. It's it's not perfectly aligned in the middle of this room anymore, uh, but I did add some clutter to the bedside tables and lots of rose petals all over the floor. I thought that that looked really cute. That was a suggestion from chat. Uh, and this little candle over here. I got some more stuff from the bathroom clutter kit in here as well. I believe we get like some towels and stuff. I just wanted a couple of items on either side of the bed uh, to make it feel like these nightstands are actually being used. So that's it for this side of the bedroom other than a little stereo over here for some tunes and we're moving over here where I just get a dresser with a couple of things on it, not too much and a nice full length mirror as well. It just fit the space really nicely and it feels like uh, Don would probably want to check out how he's looking when he's getting ready in the morning. I also got a hamper over here. That one's a base game one, so you don't have to worry about laundry. And then I put this calendar over here. I was thinking that Don was one of the models for that calendar. Uh, that was actually another thing that was put into my head by chat and I just love the idea. So he, he likes to brag that he is, um, I think we decided that he was Mr. July or maybe Mr. June, but I think July works. Um, so uh, here's the champagne thing from the My Wedding Stories pack. So you can actually have some champagne. And then I added some wooden hearts out by the hot tub and a nice light out there as well. So it's not pitch black at night. And then I'm just finishing up the landscaping, going around the exterior of this build and trying to make sure it looks fully landscaped. Uh, but that's pretty much it for this build. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to this channel if you have not already, and click that bell to be notified of every single time I upload a new video. And if there are any other tiny houses you'd like to see for other townies, let me know which townie you would like to see and hopefully I can make that happen. But thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the screenshots and I will see y'all soon. Bye everyone.